what's up everyone glock 9 here and welcome back to nightmare 2 it is the morning of day 25 i do have a couple of skill points to spend this morning and i'm going to put both of them into intellect level 8 and now the next time we level up we can go ahead and unlock the 4x4 and get that thing crafted and yes i know one of the traders had a 4x4 in their inventory yesterday but they wanted like sixty-four thousand dollars for it I didn't have enough money for it, but even if I did, I wouldn't pay that much. We'll just craft it ourselves, either tonight or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow, because we got a horde to fight tonight. This morning, we are headed to a cluster of POIs I spotted on the way back from the docks yesterday. There's a pawn shop, and a bakery, and the bear den. So we're going to go uh, do some looting over there. Now, this wasn't the pawn shop I was talking about, but we're going to stop here real quick and do a little speed run. What, you're not interested in my brains anymore, buddy? I don't blame you. Let's get his attention. There we go. Alright, so what we're gonna do here is a speed run to the main loot, no kill challenge. I am gonna have my gun out, just in case, because I don't want to die, but I'm gonna try and do this without shooting or killing any zombies. Alright, I, I think I know where the loot is, so let's go. Uh, there should be a door over here. Bam. Okay. Close that. Oh, Jesus. Right through here. Yes. Close that. Nice. Ooh, ammo pile. Arrows, whatever. I mean, I didn't say we couldn't loot anything. I just said we can't kill any zombies. Plug. Some trash. Bullshit. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure there is a zombie or two up here, so I'm going to try and maintain some stamina. There's another ammo pile. Okay, I'm gonna scrap the bolts. Uh, yeah, I want to maintain some stamina so we can run past them. This should lead us up to the rooftop, and that's where the loot is. So, pretty easy speed run. So far, anyway. There we go. Later, bitch. Uh, I don't know if she can make it up here or not, but let's just go up here. Oh, we're clear up on this roof. Look at this. Here's the loot. Bam, no kill challenge. Done. Aloe cream and a steroid. Actually, I don't need the aloe cream. Meh. Nah. Oh, reduced chance to be lit on fire by 25%. That's a good one. I'm going to scrap those boots for the iron. Let's get in these crates and get the hell out of here. Okay. Nice. Hey, that was pretty easy. You know, I've had a lot of people talk to me in the past about doing a pacifist challenge where we can't kill any zombies the entire game, which would make Horde Night pretty interesting. <laughs> Basically be just us running or have a base good enough that can like withstand the Horde without killing any of them. Or maybe you could use traps. I don't know. But not really, right? If you were a true pacifist, you wouldn't want to justify any killing. Yeah, this is the pawn shop I was talking about. Pop's Pawn Shop. This has been completely redone. Looks like it might be connected to the bakery now. Let's go around back. See what it looks like. But yeah, that, I mean, that could be interesting for like a mini-series to try and get along in this game without killing any zombies. It would require a lot of running and jumping. That's for sure. We'd have to max out cardio and uh parkour and then we could probably get by look at these two fucks out here definitely killing them i don't think i can i mean i can get in there if i break the fence but i think i'm supposed to go in through the bakery i guess these pois are connected now well i'm gonna kill the dogs before i do anything because fuck all that you know all right, let's bring the bike over here. We're going to go in through the back of the bakery. But first, I'm going to kill these bastards. One down. Looking clear. Let's get the other one. Okay, don't have to worry about them later. Let's alert this zombie. Come on, get some, lady. Oh, just clipped you there. Back up. Okay. Might as well check the dumpster. Wood and some brass. And I think we woke up zombies in the pawn shop. 
Yeah, that's what it looks like. Well, can't worry about that now. We're going in this way. It's more wood. We're going up. But first, let's grab this cobblestone and cement. And that looks like uh, all there is down here. Let's keep it moving. Should probably get the gun out, right? Let's use guns, because they're guns, you know? Look how much easier. Oh, that's beautiful. Plus, I have so much fucking ammo at home, I was looking at my ammo crate, it's like, full. Oh! Look at that! Guns for the win, baby! But yeah, might as well start running through a bit of ammo. Alright, uh, I guess we're going up. Let me check uh, what's going on in here first. A little bit of iron right there. Nothing up there. And uh, nothing over here. Okay, up we go. Rooftop, couple of birds. Boop. Bop, 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 bop. Is that it? Nope. Come on, motherfucker, I see you. Get over here. All right, let's finish him off with the club. You gotta mix it up, you know? It's a nice combo. Lay him down with the gun. Finish him off with the club. I'm really loving this SMG. I love the fire rate. It just, like, knocks them down and slows them down when they're running at you. We'll do the bear den next, I think. That could be fun. Look at that. See? And I don't even have any power mods on this thing. The only mod I have on it is the uh, extended magazine. Oh, shit. That's quite a few of them. But that's all right. You know why? Because guns. That's why. If I tried to kill them all with the club, I might have a little bit of issue. But with a shotgun and SMG, no issues at all. Probably should have closed that. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Some foods, some ammo, and machine tool parts. You know, I'd like to make an auger soon. Uh, I haven't found the schematic for that yet, though. I'll scrap the brass, take the wood, and the pumpkin pie recipe, and the gunpowder, and I don't need the stone. Let's go ahead and drop down here now. Bathroom's clear. Paper, no. Paper, no. All right. Oh. Scrap. And let's get out of here, because I'm hearing some zombies. Here they come. Oh, yeah. Big boy down. Crawler dead. Big boy dead. See you later, fucker. And these two idiots can't figure out how to use steps. Grandpa's Moonshine, an insane increase in melee damage when you drink that, but it gets you drunk, so you gotta deal with the blurry vision and shit. I wonder if that book that you can read that eliminates blurry vision when you drink beer also works for Grandpa's Moonshine. I've never tried that. Did I read that book? I don't know, I'll have to look into it. What the hell's going on back here? Where's the loot? Tell me there's no main stash in the bakery since it's connected to the pawn shop now? That kind of sucks. Oh, Mega Crush. The elusive Mega Crush. I'm gonna drink both of these coffees. Um... Well, whatever. There better be a fucking giant stash over in the pawn shop, though. Herbal antibiotic, I'll take that. Scrap the pipes. Scrap the can. Good on the bone. Yeah, alright. I guess we gotta make our way over to uh, the pawn shop now. Would have been nice if there was at least a little loot in here, you know? Like a couple crates or some shit. Let's see, uh... Who the hell's banging on that door? Ah, it's Morty. I'm gonna need you to put these seeds way up inside your butthole, Morty. <laughs> that was the first episode of Rick and Morty I ever saw, which makes sense. It was the pilot episode. But I fell in love immediately. Scrap the pipes, take the brass. And we got a spider monkey. There it is. Something else going on. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> Damn, big boy! Fucking action star over here. 
Oh! Got him! Nice! A crawler we can take care of with the club. That was crazy. Okay, rooftop of the pawn shop. Looking pretty clear. There's a hatch up there. Let's uh, see what we got. Oh, broken ladder is what we got. Let's just pop it open, see if there's anything in there. Backpack. Nope, I'm good. Got a spiral staircase going down to what looks like an apartment. The stairs continue down, but we're going to check this out first. Seems clear. All right. That door's locked open. Haven't woken up any zombies yet, though. Let's see if there's anything behind here. Nope. Six bucks. Oh, we can go home now. I don't know why I took it. I can't resist taking money. Are we clear in here, too? Let me close that and close... Oh, I can't close that. Oh, that's the bathroom that we already looted. Nothing there. That's the way to go. Let's check this kitchen first. Uh, close that door. Paper? No. All right, then. Here we are. The pawn shop. Looks like the loot might be over there. Got a crawler. He's awake. Take him out with the bow so we don't wake anyone else up. There we go. Seems clear in here. I'm just gonna start looting, I guess. No, I don't really need any clothes. I don't know why I'm looking through this shit. No, no, no. No. Oh, there we go. Take those. Those will sell. Good on the shoes. Good on the sneakers. Headlight. Gonna need those for uh, the Jeep, even though I think we have... Headlights. I'm pretty sure we have all the parts we're going to need for the Jeep. Paper? No. Coffee. Drink these. That's a decent stash. Not going to complain. Let's eat this eye candy. We'll dig into it. Oh, treasure map. And some lockpicks. I got plenty of lockpicks. I just forgot to bring them with me. Oh, there we go. Level 6 iron chest armor. Let's replace our scrap iron chest armor with that. Uh, okay, we'll do this. Put that on, do this. Da -da 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 -ba -ba. Put that back on, take this off of there. Ba -da -ba. Boom, bang, pow. Level 6 iron chest armor. We're going to start moving a bit slower now as we put on heavier armor. So it'll probably pay to start putting a point or two into heavy armor. The heavy armor perk, which will um, alleviate those slow movements uh, while you wear the heavy armor. Because I like wearing heavy armor, because I get beat up a lot. And this just keeps on going. Scrap the level 1 AK for the machine gun parts. Take and scrap, and we need to unload in the bike. We are completely full.
That is to the southwest. By the water, not too far away. Kind of want to go and get that, but we still got plenty of time. Let's do the bear den first. Then we'll go get the treasure, then we'll head home, fight a horde. That sounds like a plan. Yeah, I haven't been in here in a while. Looks pretty much the same. Hey, big boy. Mm, gotta go. Come on. God, fuck this shotgun. The SMG really slows him down a lot better, doesn't it? Look at that. Yeah. The shotgun's a little overrated. Now this looks different in here. Yeah, this is way different. I guess they changed uh, this POI around a little bit. Haven't been in here since Alpha 20 launched, obviously. Because I'm sure that's when they made the changes. All this looked the same. I didn't notice any changes here. 17 bucks. It all adds up. Yeah, this is way different, though. Acid. Cobblestone. A ladder going up right there. And a garage door that opens up to the back. I hear a zombie. I don't know where the hell it is. All right. Not much going on back here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Just standing around. Now he's dead. I guess we're going up that ladder. Is there anything up here that I may have missed? I think this is just where the zombies came from. Yeah, nothing in there. Is that a plug? Nope. All right, then. Up the ladder we go. Oh, going up again, looks like. Uh-oh. There we go. Fall down. Thank you. I guess we're going down the fire escape. Jumping over here. And there's the room with the bears. Man, I don't know. I kind of like the old setup better. I don't think there was really a reason to change it around. Well, actually, the old setup made it easy to cheese the bears. And that's probably why they switched it. Coal, no. Yeah, because how are we going to kill these bears? Well, let's kill the zombies first. Nope. Blow up. He's not pissed enough yet. Mm, now he is. <laughs> nice. Oh, he got out. He's definitely going to be able to make it through that door, right? Oh, yeah. No shit. Yeah. Um, that's definitely why they changed it around. It was a lot easier to cheese the bears last time. This time, not so much with this setup. I mean, unless I put some hatches in that doorway, that could have worked. Where are you at? Here he is! I guess we'll just play this game. When he gets too close, we'll jump over here. And he'll run away. And we'll do it again. I just hope I have enough ammo. I mean, I got plenty of shotgun ammo. SMG is much easier, but... We're gonna have to switch over to shotgun eventually. Oh my god. Okay, let's do that again. Both of them are loose now. Nine more rounds in this thing. And that's it. No shit. I killed one. And here's the other one. Oh, man. 
He's chasing me, right? Oh, yeah, he is. Going back in here. Nah, fuck that thing. Is he gonna get stuck? No, he's gonna get right through there. Yes, he is. Oh, get out of my way, buddy. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. I did kill the other one, right? I'm pretty sure I did. I saw the XP as I was falling. Ah, eh, fuck it. Uh, oh, there it is. What the hell is it doing? Can I shoot it through the wall? No, I'm just wasting ammo. Uh, let's just go back up. It's not going to be able to get back up stairs, right? I don't think so. Let's just go. Yeah, this setup is definitely more of a pain in the ass for the looter, you know, for us. So I get why they changed it, because the other setup was pretty easy. You would just drop in, pull your way up, take care of the bears. It was uh, it was pretty easy to cheese them in the old setup. This one make, definitely makes it a, a bit harder. I don't know where the other bear ended up. Probably inside the building somewhere. Don't care. Not worried about him. Let's go get this treasure and get home. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch. Well, that sucks. <laughs> um, all right, here's what we're going to do. We got to put down storage. If I try and back the motorcycle up these stairs, that's never going to happen. Uh, get rid of that. Put storage down right here. Pick that back up. Throw a bunch of shit into the storage chest. We'll grab the rest of the shit out of the motorcycle, and then we'll be able to pick that motorcycle up. There we go. Okay. We're fine. Just a little misstep. No big deal. I did start to widen the ramp right up here. And depending on how the 4x4 makes it up and down the ramp, I'll either leave it the way it is or continue widening it. Um, I don't need anything in there right now. I'm fine. Let's just gear up and get down into the base. Oh shit, iron! I forgot iron so we can repair the hatches as they're taking damage. There's a bit in the motorcycle. Not much, but... Should be enough. 842 pieces. That'll be enough. Hopefully. Let's get this turned on. Which turns on the, the, the two dart traps outside here. And everything else gets turned on by the switches, which we don't have to worry about right now. Uh, let's get Junkie down right here. Unfortunately, I forgot to craft more ammo for him, so we don't have much, but some is better than none. Let's go ahead and uh, eat this Skull Crushers, and we're just gonna wail on these motherfuckers as Junkie and the Dart Traps shoot them, and when this wears off, we'll pop a recog and go to work with the guns, plus I got plenty of throwables too.
Well, usually by now, with the horde this size, I have things that I want to change about the base, but honestly, this is just beautiful. The only thing that bothers me about this setup is there are two hatches in this doorway, right? But once they break through the first one, I guess the dart traps will still shoot at the zombies that are behind the, um, the zombies in front. You know, because the zombies in front, they won't be getting shot at by the dart traps anymore. But that is what it is. I mean, I guess I could... I could replace these blocks here with dart traps, but then the zombies will be beating on them, and uh, I don't want to mess with it. This is just too fucking perfect. It really is. And this is just the first part of the base. You know, they haven't even made it past this part yet. And when they do, it's a whole nother room full with a bunch more dart traps and a blade trap. It's beautiful. Um, I want to see how this room holds up, but I'm not going to let them through. They're going to have to fucking work for it. I think that's it. Now there's a bird that's been flying around up there. Maybe more than one. Let's go check. In terms of zombies, though, I don't... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I always do that. Turn this off. Okay. Now let's go check. There it is. Just one, it looks like. Game over. Oh, well, we successfully defended our home on the hill. Yet again, that was, what, the fifth horde we've dealt with here? What a beautiful setup. Man, a lot of darts used tonight. These were both fully loaded. Now 265 darts left. These were loaded up too, though, just in case. Not all the way, but a thousand darts in those, and, and I started loading up the other ones just in case they broke through here tonight. I mean, I did debate letting them through just to see how the second room works, but I don't want to do that just yet. Like I said earlier, I want them to work for it. Ooh, level six steel sledgehammer, man. That makes me want to start using the sledgehammer. Ooh, that was nice. Fucking triple storage pocket mod schematic. Craft a couple of those tonight and we'll have a full backpack finally. We won't have to worry about getting encumbered anymore. Alright, that'll do it. I tell you, I never really used electricity and traps in my bases in the past, and then finally when I do, it's just way overpowered. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Such minimal damage. Hardly used any ammo. I mean, I, I used more tonight than I have in the previous hordes, just because I'm fucking... I have a surplus of ammo. I gotta start using it. And plus, you gotta unload on the cops when you see them. That's how I managed to not get any of them to explode tonight. All right, I got a bunch of loot to get sorted here, and then we will pick things up on the morning of day 26. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Nightmare 2, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Yeah.